Hello gentle people, welcome back to the channel, Jeff here. Um, I'm currently sitting in my veranda because it's really warm here in Sweden right now. Uh, carving upstairs is a sweat fest, uh, but still, I wanted to make a video. Um, I carved a little knight, uh, well, last time, last week I think. Um, but I didn't talk to, you know, it was not really a tutorial, you could carve along I guess. But these videos usually don't get like that many clicks. Uh, which is fine, I'm not doing that for the clicks anyway, but uh, you know, if I think people love tutorials, so I made another little night, uh, and then I decided to, well, why not make a full tutorial out of it, uh, so that's what we will do today. Um, I hope you enjoy, and uh, yeah, let's not waste more time, and then let's get cracking. Okay, so um, I start with, as usual, a couple of lines. Um, I'll try to do the face. Um, I usually eyeball everything, right? Maybe from here for the head. And maybe somewhere here in the middle. All this wood will go away anyway. Oh yeah. Before I forget, we have two and three quarter inches by one point five by one point five. Okay. I have a knot here, which is kind of bad, but that's the last piece of wood that I have. So we'll have to make do with it. And then there will be the big cloak, which is basically following the same line around here. Then we'll have the shield, which is just a circle on that side. And we need the arm. Let's have a, let's have a, a thick sword. Something like this. Then one back with the ugly wood that I have. Something like this. And then on this side we'll have another arm. This one will be a bit uh, not crooked, but yeah, bend. The head will probably mostly be like that size probably something like that I'll just try to have a center line at the top ish so when I carve the head and the cloak will probably go like somewhere around here the easy part with the cloak is you can just carve it like this so you don't have to carve the the back of the arm here. I think we'll go with that probably. And that's simple as that for the line. So gloves, <coughs> knives, and uh, yeah, I'll take the other one that I have to uh, remove the big chunks of wood. So I go for it on each side. this take out that All right see it's kind of it's kind of square here I think it's straight then I remove stuff from the back okay then Go along and carve on the side, round it up, like so, and then from here I will do one shot. I will carve more later, but uh, for now that's fine. And then I will just round it a little bit. All right, something like that. Okay. 
good. Um, I will remove the ugly wood straight away because I always forget that part. Lucky for you, maybe you don't have to do it. Maybe you do. See, wood is splitting on this side, so I will keep that side instead. Okay, looks a bit better. It's in the back anyway. Good. I will take my other knife now. So from here, um, I will carve uh, this line with a stop cut. The way to the front and then on this side too. Okay. And uh, that's basically the cloak, so we can uh, remove wood from there, from here. Okay. Good, simple as that. And then I will can remove the shoulders already here. Well, not remove the shoulder, but remove the wood from the side of the head. So I'll make a stop cut here, but we will not cut from below to up. We'll do the opposite, like so. On both sides. So you see it creates the shape of the head a bit better. We can do a little bit of the same thing. I will go around with a, a cut going just up a little bit. So the cloak will be kind of, you know, on the back a bit higher. Then we can remove all the chip away a little bit. Like this. All right. The thing I will do is do a straight cut, one one cut, like that. All right. Flatten the face a bit. I will fix it uh, later. Okay, good. That's it for now, for the head. We'll come back later, absolutely. Um, from here I will do the shield, because that's the little bit of tricky part. So try to carve a, well, the best circle you can do, I would say. It's okay if it's not perfectly circle or anything alike. Mines are not perfect anyway. Just a circular shape will help. We can adjust it after. And from here you can go uh, different type of cut. You can sweep along or just basically remove the corners like that. Chip at a time. I will go along. This cut is a little bit harder because you kind of need to know where the tip of your knife is. Because if you don't, you will kind of, well, I might have done it even. You will kind of carve in the shield so you will have all these cut lines along the edge, which is not looking that great, but nothing we can't fix really. All right. was not deep enough. Okay. Nothing we can't fix. Okay, and then from here. From 
will probably look a little bit bad when you're cutting on the side right here but uh, after that we can uh, round it back and other things that's a little broken shield but that'll do the trick so I'll remove that part here, then remove all the wood. The shield need to be like out of the body, obviously. Okay. Pop that corner. Same thing on the other side. Okay. shield uh, we can do the cut for the the cloak already I think yeah let's do that so I'll start from here go all the way to the front then here we try to be close like don't create a, a space between the shield and the cloak because that will just be really annoying. No, I went a bit too far, so I will even, uh, well, you just put it out like here. Let's go along there in the back. I will be able to fix it. Same thing on this side. All right, something like this. And then this arm here and the sword there we go so for the cloak we'll carve from below just remove a little bit for now we'll carve deeper after all right that might be a tricky part here see yep I think this part will be a bit tricky to remove it's not too bad okay I hope you have a pointy knife okay Fine. Then on this side, um, put that part here. Right. You know what? Give it a, give it a try and remove the remove the sharp. There we go. Corner. That'll be easier to cut. Okay. Yeah, I'll go along. Cool, I'll do for now. And for here, uh, we'll go in to the sword. Alright. Right. So we have the shield on this side that we should probably not remove this. I'll go in from there. I will probably shorten the blade tip at the end. <coughs> All right, so we are getting in the body here. Can remove 
remove all that. All that would need to be removed. go look at the sword shape at least okay the cape is there um, here need a little cut for the arm Should give a little, uh, little bit of uh, thickness to the shield here. that wood here under needs to be uh, removed as much as possible. It's not here. I'll need to figure out what to do with it. to give a little shape for the, the cloak. Good, it's getting in. Same thing with this side. Okay. So we have the general shape now. Oh yeah, I should obviously remove that for the arm. Okay, good, 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 so let's just remove a lot of wood in the back. stay in the carving because I can't really uh, do anything about it I think all right let's go 
go back to that head. Just remove the corner of everything here. I'm just trying to distantiate the body from the shield. There we go. Same thing at the top. Okay. Again, just removing all the corners. Going a bit deeper. Remove the wood from the front. I'm starting to like more and more the, the flat plane style of carving, so I'm leaving all these sort of like flat plane, yeah, on purpose because um, I kind of really like the look of it. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to minimize that knot uh, hole here, but that is fine. Okay, so... Just removing the wood. Great. some sort of plating so I will create a little edge here that carve from below there all right so the hand there we go something like that Create the guard of the blade. That'll do. Sorry, I'm getting uh, getting carried away, and then I start carving. I'm not really in the center of the camera. I hope you can still see though. Okay, um, then we'll just round everything here. The guard, the, the knights have a uh, plate, plated glove. Ok, 
can also do just a little thing here. I think I'll paint this a little different color. All right. I think that'll work for the hand. you carve the more shadow it generates and the better it looks so I kind of want to go deeper here all right I'll just round that up good so there's a little uh, shoulder plate I will just create a little V here at the top create even more shadow here I need to Split that from the shield again. Okay. Shield is not looking that great right now because of the former cuts. Um, okay, I think that cloak is a bit too puffy in the front. Good. So that's where we're at. Uh, the sword probably look better if it's more like this. Yeah. yeah, go slow so you don't do that. Can I pop too much wood right here? I can probably glue it back on and here I just want to separate the sword from the shield I'll probably glue that piece back Carve more and then uh, glue everything back together. Okay. Here it's okay because it seems like the cloak is on the shield. This is a. I can probably sharpen it up a bit. It's not really rounded. Okay, looks already a bit better. Cool. It's a bit wonky. Let's make another little V here. Create some depth. I kind of really need to remove that wood. Kind of makes no sense for it to be there. Because it's the side of the, the body. Sword is way too that's I need to remove that part too, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. I already broke that part, so there we go. Cute little sword.
Okay, from here, um, I'll just probably tighten the face. It's a bit too thick. I can probably remove way more wood than that. I think I will remove more wood from both sides. Alright, that's a lot more. Yeah, it's more like it. Should be flatter in the face though. There's one edge that is not the right. Is that the central line? Okay. Let's uh, sharpen the front. If we say that the center is uh, the center was there, but now it's more like here, I guess of how I carved. You could even rotate the head depending on where you're pointing the face. So I will go with this central line. And basically make some sort of pointy. There we go. Then from here I just basically eyeball the, the eye uh, socket. Huh. Having a hard time with the face. it in in the front I'll give a nice uh, a nice look okay
Okay. So we got a face. I created more space on the sides. Just create edge. Remove the edge from the cloak. Good. That's where we're at. Still something bugging me about the face, but I think it's that thing should get inside. Kinda. All right. The pencil line. Good. Um, so from here, I'll just fix that thing. I'm pretty much done. Just fixing the cuts a little bit. Sort of a distance between the body and the shield here, but that's a bit intricate. Not great. Sword is still broken a bit. Okay. Uh, let's remove the edge. Oh, there we go, that's the part that broke. I will need to glue it back. Give me five seconds. Okay, so it's glued back together, but I will let it dry a little bit, so I will carve somewhere else, like the shield. Let's remove the wood. Once again, wood is splinting from one side, so I'll carve <coughs> to the other side. Okay. So basically what you want to do here is uh, do another circle inside while sort of following the general shape of the shield as much as you can. Alright, with the stop cut. And then I will swoop while take, making sure that the tip of my knife doesn't go under best as I can. Doesn't need to be that deep. It's just to create some sort of a little shape inside. Then at some point you will end up going like at the place where the wood will split like this. So then you go on the other side. Okay.
Okay, we're almost there. We got the shield in place. Let's make a couple of cuts in the back for now. That nut. It's what it is. So to create a little bit more of shoulders, I do a V cut. Like this, so it kind of sits on the shoulder on both sides. Alright. And then I do a big one in the back. And I expand it on both sides. Like this. And from there we can probably remove a little bit of wood. Alright, and then if you have a couple of edges like this, you can kind of do a couple of cuts like that to I don't know, create more fabric lines. Just remove a bit of ugly wood cuts here and there. And from here we'll split the cloth of the night with what could be boot, pants, whatever you feel like. And same thing on the other side, but at that height, yeah, it's just probably under here. You can do stop cut, you can do V cut. It's really up to you. Good. Then since we have a space in the middle, I think I will just uh, do a little tri triangle cut to create some sort of uh, small feet. Cuts like that. Okay. Let's see if the, that's glued back in. Looks like it. Okay, and then this edge here. And this one. Then we'll just remove a little piece so the line that is glued back will disappear. Okay, then I'll create the V cut in the middle. I'll stop here and another V cut. There we go. And clean that up. So we got our little sword. Good. Do we have anything else to do? Probably. Yeah, some little lines uh, in here, so I want to split it in five parts. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <coughs> so the line is the middle. One side, I flip it over. Come on, I have to clean. 
clean it, but that is okay. Okay, so we have the five slots. I'll give it a little brush. Shield a little bit. And here we are. That's it, that is, that is, that is it. That's the little knights. Done and done. Little sword, little uh, shield. Alright, so here we are. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I came back down on my veranda because it's way too warm upstairs. I hope you learned a thing or two. Um, we could even say that it, maybe it's like a take two of my uh, little knight tutorial I've done a while back different way of carving, uh, different technique, I would say, even. Uh, but yes, uh, I hope that is was beginner-friendly enough. And uh, yeah, if you liked it, just leave a comment. If you have any question, I'm more than happy. I answer every single comment I receive. And uh, well, I hope we see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.